Hi, this is Dr. Rob Rosbrook from Hospital for Special Surgery, and we're going to go through an animation of osseointegration limb replacement in the femur. First is a, an approach to the distal femur, depending on the particular case. In this example, we're going to excise some of the distal femurs. We need a generous approach for that and for the thigh lift. You reflect the muscle and expose the distal end of the femur, and then you perform the osteotomy of the femur, removing as much bone as is appropriate. Here it is several centimeters, sometimes less. Next step is taking routine bone cultures. Very helpful for knowing if there's any contamination. The next step is preparation of the canal. And that is done first with a reamer, serially increasing reamer sizes as is appropriate, followed by a series of rasps, also increasing sized until the optimal fit is obtained. The implant is a porous coated titanium implant as seen here, and it is then impacted into position with the optimal amount of force. Once this is seated, targeted muscle re is done in many cases. The sciatic nerve is then connected to an, a motor branch of an adjacent uh, muscle, and this helps with phantom nerve pain. The next step is purse stringing of the muscle to create an optimal muscle platform. This sets the stage for the creation of the stoma. The flap is optimally tensioned. The stoma is created, often done together with a plastic surgeon. In many cases, there is excessive skin, and so what was being shown here is the thigh lift to create the optimal soft tissue tension. And closure. Next is the abutment. This is the insertion of the dual cone. These are the parts that are sticking out. Care is taken with all of these tightening maneuvers to prevent torque on the implant. And so you see this is a tool that is designed to neutralize the torque. This is the dual cone bolt that is being inserted. This is called a taper base, which is impacted into position. Again, uh, the tool to prevent torsion on the implant and bone as the tightenings are done. The bushing is then applied, and then the uh, bushing bolt. The bushing is what sets the rotation, and the bushing is also the fail-safe mechanism. Finally, the adapter is applied. The adapter is what the prosthetic leg will be attached to. Thanks for listening. I hope that this has been helpful.